Welcome back to the Sebastian Stewart Johnson Show, hosted by the Black Menaces. And guess who it is? Sebastian Stewart Johnson. Um, the Biden campaign just put out a video of all the times that Trump spoke publicly um, about suspending the entitlement program through the government. And let me play that video and then let's talk about why that's so dangerous. Of course, y'all know, y'all are intelligent, but let's talk about the programs that would be affected by banning that. What? Entitlements ever be on your plane? Uh, at some point, they will be. We have tremendous growth. We're going to have tremendous growth this next year. I, it'll be toward the end of the year. The growth is going to be incredible. And at the right time, we will take a look at that. You know, that's actually the easiest of all things, if you look, because it's such if a you're big willing percentage. to do some of if you if you don't cut something in entitlements, you'll never really deal with oh, we'll be cutting, But we're also going to have growth like you've never had before. You changed your your outlook on how to handle entitlement, Social Security, Medicare, Medicaid, Mr. President, it seems like it, it, something has to be done or else we're going to be at a, stuck at 120 percent of, of debt to GDP forever. So first of all, there is a lot you can do in terms of entitlements, in terms of cutting. and One So Trump obviously wants to ban entitlement. I think it's a great reminder for the American people as the election season is rolling around. This is one of the horrible things that he plans on doing, and it's one of his horrible administrational items. And let's just talk about entitlement programs just as a reminder for everybody. The Medicaid program is the entitlement program. Medicare also. So having sufficient medical care for old, the older population of America and also those that live, are living in poverty would be slashed by Donald Trump. That is a problem considering we need both of those and those have been in place for almost 100 years and have been extremely beneficial for two high risk populations in the United States. Also, Social Security, again, attack on those of the older population, unemployment insurance. So, I mean, speaks for itself, unemployment insurance and welfare programs, welfare programs like SNAP, these are. These welfare programs are highly necessary for the survival. I grew up on welfare, pro welfare, welfare programs, and without those, I wouldn't have had food some days, right? We wouldn't have had housing other days. And so if these entitlement programs are slashed, that puts millions and millions and millions of people in more of a risk than they're currently living in, and they're already the high-risk population in the United States. And this disproportionately will affect black and brown people, as we know that statistically black and brown people have been subjugated to high risk populations, more likely to live in poverty, like more or less likely to have educational attainment, which equals a higher likelihood of poverty as well. And so when we're talking about this, we can't be complicit or complacent, rather, in what this actually entails. Because if he does carry out this idea in slashing out the entitlement program, millions of people will be affected. And that probably will include you in some way, shape, or form. It will be a family member. It will be your mom, your grandmother. It will be your friend. It will be so many people. And we won't have the ability to take care of them. And the unhoused population will go up. So many things will get worse. And so we need to make sure we're fighting back and pushing back on Donald Trump. And if you're a Republican, pushing back on priorities that don't align with you. If you are Republican, you need to be pushing back and not allowing Republicans to be put platforming such ideas that are truly harmful to the American people. And always, thank you for joining us. This is Sebastian Stewart Johnson's show. Let's not cut entitlement. Goodbye.